Hey guys, how's it going? Lamar here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the differences between a trading company and a factory or manufacturer. First, gonna go over the positives of each, and at the very end of the video, I'm just gonna talk about how to identify uh, which one that you're working with or sourcing from when you go to source a product from China. Um, if you guys are enjoying the videos, I encourage you to give me a thumbs up, uh, please share and definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll keep coming out with more videos. All right, so let's jump in here. So first, a trading company. Typically, a trading company will offer a wide spectrum of different products within their catalog, right? You might see electronics to paper plates to kitchen gadgets, right? They offer a wide range of different products and that's come leads into my point number one here is that they are typically a one-stop shop. So depending on your business goals and objectives, you may be able to source like all of your products or fill an entire store directly with just dealing with one trading company, right? And that's an advantage in that, in that sense if you're looking to do that because you don't need to go out to a bunch of different factories. You can just have one point of contact and source a bunch of different products. Next here on the advantages for a trading company is a low minimum order quantity. So typically when you would go to place an order with a trading company, they might take an order from you, they'll take an order from another customer of theirs and another customer of theirs, and then they'll bundle all of that together and then go to the specialized factory and put in a larger order. And because you have put in a smaller piece of this larger order, you get to take advantage of lower minimum order quantities, right? And that's definitely an advantage when we're first starting out, when we're first just testing products, is just testing the market and getting a low and minimum order quantity is important. Um, finally here, the last uh, advantage or major advantage to working with a trading company is communication. You know, a trading company uh, is all about preserving that relationship and working between the customer and the factory. And one of their big selling points is definitely communication. However, factories, I must say, are getting better and better at dealing with foreigners speaking in English. So communication is becoming less of an uh, advantage for a trading company just because factories are becoming more used to dealing with Westerners um, and the use of you know the internet and you know the WeChat email communication is becoming so prevalent right so it's becoming easier for the factories to just communicate direct with the customers all right so now let's quickly talk about a factory Typically the best way to distinguish whether you're dealing with a factory is the amount of uh, materials that they specialize in, right? So if you're looking at a, a manufacturer or a factory's catalog, they will only be producing paper products, right? Or they might only be producing glass products. So if you see a catalog and they just have a ton of glass jars, you know, chances are that that's a factory and they have specialized in that single material of glass or paper. And that leads into the first advantage of dealing directly with a factory is that they can do more specialized things. If you're doing any kind of customization or you want to, you know, do some unique design in some way, it's going to be advantageous to work directly with the factory because they have so much industry knowledge and depth of working with this material and forming it in different ways, producing, you know, hundreds of thousands of different kinds of products or units. Um, over the years. So they're gonna have more experience dealing uh, with these different types of uh, custom requests. Next here on the list is factories are gonna be able most of the time to offer you a lower price than the trading company just because you're dealing direct to the source of the factory, right? You might have to pay or you might have to put in an order for a higher MOQ but you will be taking a low or advantage of a lower price because you're essentially cutting out this middleman or so-called a trading company, right? Next here as um, advantage for working direct with a factory is that you get to build a relationship or preserve a relationship directly 
with the factory or manufacturer that's making and producing your product, right? This is really extremely important to me because I wanna be talking directly to the source of the factory, you know, of the salesperson that has a direct connection with that factory. And I've just found best success with being able to preserve that relationship and work direct with the factory because I'm doing so many custom products. It helps to be able to communicate direct with that factory and just have a strong relationship. Last here on the list is quality. So I've launched um, over 20, 30 different kinds of products and let me tell you guys, every single product that I come out with has some sort of issue that we need to either improvise on or improve as we continue to manufacture with them. And just being able to either improve quality or check quality, um, or if there is a quality problem, just being able to communicate directly with that factory is gonna go a long ways um, and ensuring getting across exactly what you want. Instead of having to go through a trading company and have them communicate with the factory, you can just go directly to the factory and communicate um, the quality standards that you want and you know if any quality issues do arise. So there I kind of just broke out the main differences between uh, trading companies and a factory or a manufacturer. I just wanna quickly review with you how to identify um, which is which when you go to source products from China. Uh, the easiest way to tell is just to directly ask them, right? So whoever your contact point of contact is for the, the company, just ask them, are you a trading company or are you a manufacturer, right? That's pretty much the easiest way to, uh, to tell right off the bat. If that, if you get back a skeptical answer or you're not satisfied with that answer, right? Next thing to do is ask them to do a video call with you on the phone, live on the factory floor. Right, So if they're in a factory, they'll go out of their office, they'll walk down to the factory floor and be able to do a video call with you immediately. Right, If they're working for a trading company, their chances are they're gonna be in an office building and they're not gonna be able to have direct access to, that, to, that, um, to the factory floor and you'll know pretty quickly that it's just not a factory, right? They're in an office building. And the last point tip here, is that you can always uh, send in an inspection company. You can pay a couple hundred dollars and send a team in there to do a factory inspection and just to ensure that the product that you are sourcing is coming direct from a factory and they'll give you a big report on the pictures um, of the factory that they've taken or like the quality standards, you know, what the, basically what do they think about the factory. So you can always send in an inspection team just to um, help identify if it is a factory or trading company if you're concerned about it. Uh, so there you guys have it. I just broke down there for the differences between a trading company and a factory and gave you some tips on telling which is which. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, please hit that like button and stay tuned to more videos. Peace.